So, what do you want to talk about? Well, are you ready for the intro? Yeah. Well, I guess that's our intro. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and clarify one thing first. Well, the first the pre the prerequisite to clarification though should be that yes, we're on a bumpy road. <laughs> this isn't a road. This is this my is a, driveway. This is his driveway. We're on a bumpy driveway. It's I did not know you road. had a boat. Clarification. It's gonna. It may be bumpy for certain portions of this of this video. Ignore that. Second thing. Yes, we're not walking. Technically, this is a walk and talk. But if we were the Flintstones, this could be technically a this walk and talk. Walk and but talk. We're not. This is walk and talk, drive and talk edition. Yeah, drive, 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 walk and talk. With in planning this episode, Todd says something. I'm supposed to remind you about a pencil story. Yes, I have a pencil story. I'll get okay. to that in a minute. First oh, okay. off, I want to say I don't know when this is going to come out, but I'm I don't either. Because I don't either. Today is the day I get to play Overwatch, which is an amazing game by Blizzard Entertainment that I have been waiting for since the last beta weekended. And I, re I am looking forward to 6 p.m. tonight when I get to play the crap out of it. But yes, Overwatch is going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, there may be some recordings of that game appearing on some channel that is related to one of us. Probably Fort Pulse. Maybe my personal one. Hopefully Fort uh, Pulse. I'm, I'm, depends how much I'm I get Nick to edit. And, uh, and I love it. Yes, so. That's going to be a good game. I'm going to be playing a lot of it. Pencil story, though. Me and Nick were talking. Uh, I noticed in one of his glove compartment things that there's two I, pencils. I always keep extra pencils in my glove compartment. One pencil has the clip broken, one pencil has the clip intact. I asked Nick, hey, we're waving at people. Uh, I don't know that guy. Uh, we asked Nick. I don't know that guy. That, uh, <laughs> or we asked Nick. I asked Nick, which kind of person he has in his top he leaves intact or breaks it? This is what, oh, you're asking me. This oh. is where you tell so, them the answer. Yes, I leave it intact. I, I don't like to mess it up. I hate messing it up. It is my goal make pencils last as long as possible. I use mechanical pencils for this reason. So you remember that my pencil I used in high school for Ever? three years straight? Yes. Three years straight, one pencil. And I retired that pencil up to high school to start with a fresh pencil for college. This pencil made it almost three years. I lent it to someone like two weeks before finals. I didn't even lend it to him. I got up to do a presentation and they borrowed it from my seat. Without which, asking you? Yes. Which, which they said sorry and gave it back afterward. They really needed a pencil and that's the only one they could find. Yeah. But what I'm annoyed about is when I got it back, when I got it back, there was a crack in the clip and it was sort of bent like they were like messing with it like in the habit of break. And it broke about a week afterward. It was barely hanging on by a thread. Like I took care of that pencil, tried to let, not let it break and it finally broke. And that made me so upset. Not like really upset, but just like, dang it. I was trying not to have that broken. And that's my that's my pencil story, but that's it. But you always want to keep the clip intact on pencils. If you break them, then you are wrong. So that's what. So that's. Yeah, that's the I thought, I thought the there was going to be like a climax to that or something. Nope, just a story. Like Thor comes down and says, "Do not break this pencil. Have it. That's a cat. Have it not be broken. Having it not be. <laughs> Let's that's, talk about that. That is not even the correct phrase. I don't care. I think it's funny. This video has been out for a while. I it saw has. it a while back. We'll so link it in the description. I don't know who saw it first because we saw it separate occasions in separate places. But the History of Japan video, a lot of you probably know of that video. It is hilarious. And the best two quotes from it, in my opinion, are the open the blank. Stop having it be closed. And you just fill in the blank with anything. And it works for pretty much everything. Like, open the door. Stop having it be closed. In the, in the video, it was open the country. Stop having it be closed. Yes. Talking about Japan. Yeah. And the other one that's really good is uh, how about I do anyway. Which is a great, com which is a great comeback anyway. whenever someone tells you not to do yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. How about I do? And a lot of times there's like, what? what? Yeah. Then they, if, so they get the video that's kind of squint at me, uh, like, unapprovingly. It's like, really? You did that? You went there? Which is a common reaction, because I tell puns a lot, so... That's pretty much the reaction I get from puns. That video... For, for those that do not know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a son of history. Not really. I am a historian. Um, actually, a historian in training. I'm in college to... Um, to teach history at the secondary and maybe one day post-secondary levels, i.e. college. Uh, but that video, and we'll link it in somewhere, there'll be an annotation somewhere, or it'll be in the description, 
so look for it. That video is so accurate. I showed it to, and actually when I saw it, I was telling Todd this, I was in Asian history, a survey of Asian history, and I showed it to my Asian history professor. He, he, he loved it. He died laughing. He said, I've, I'm going to show this to my, um, when we talk about Japan, I'm going to show this to my uh, students because that also happens to be his area of expertise is Japanese history. And so he, he just loved it. He fell in love with it. But yeah, I thought, I thought it was fantastic. I thought, number one, number one, its historical foundation was just very, very accurate. There were some things a little off, but it was mostly accurate. And two, it was funny as, funny as, as crap. So do you think we should talk about where we're, not where we're from, but what part of the country we're from? I, mean, I, don't, I really don't think that we've addressed I'm that I'm pretty yet. sure we've said that we're in Alabama at some point. Really? I don't. I I'm would have remembered sure. that. I don't think we have. Well, if you didn't know already, we're, we're from Alabama. Yeah, we're in Alabama. If you couldn't tell by our accents, we're from Alabama. Oh, no, not like Birmingham, Huntsville, or Mobile. Very unurban areas. Very is it unurban a word. I'm making it a word because I don't want to <laughs> say the other word. <laughs> um, I have issues if I haven't addressed this by now. I have issues with the letter R sometimes. I had a speech impediment growing up, and I mostly got up, got through it and can not be affected by it. Certain words, like the word word, or rural, <laughs> I have to focus very hard to say those. Say rural again. No. <laughs> I hate, rural. I hate it that. It is a hard word to say I for hate, anybody. I hate that word in particular because it's two R's, but they're not connected to each other. Yeah. Oh, look, there's more people I know. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so that... That, I guess that concludes episode two of uh, Walk and Talk ash, or forward slash it's drive, drive and Talk That's Edition. People. That's a person, yeah. So we will see you again probably in the same car with the same clothes on the same exact day, just in a different episode. But in the meantime, guys. It is May 23rd. End credit scene.